there's a couple other things that's really irritated me, Lana, is that ever since something like this happens now, which again, I hope you and anybody else watching has gone to the point now where we're done with this fucking cable news. I refuse <laughs> to watch one more second of this horse. Sh well, I, I, I haven't for years, but, um, but it, it's, it's so bad. And now when this happens, what do they need to do? They need to do the autopsy on Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is not the dead body you need to do the autopsy on. The autopsy needs to be on the, de the, the dead brains of the American people <laughs> in this country that refuse. I mean, literally refuse to accept facts and logic and critical thinking, period. That's what it comes down to. It is so clear. Lana, did you hear so many people why they voted at the end, you know, when they came out, three things. You had the economy, which not one of them who voted on the economy understands the economy. Because if they did, they would have definitely said, oh, well, we're definitely going to keep this economy rolling because the economy right. is doing great. Uh, and anybody that's listening to this and you don't know that the economy is doing great, you know, I've explained it in a, a million different ways. Um, immigration is another thing. But the immigration thing is this mass crisis that I would love to ask anybody. All right, let's say all the immigrants are now gone. Tell me exactly now how your life changes. Because a lot of the immigration stuff was they're coming in and they're raping and killing a lot of people, which is statistically not true. And the last thing is that Kamala Harris and the Democrats care too much about woke and transgender, which is so fucking stupid and ridiculous. And I've said I've had this argument on Twitter. I've had anybody that has said this to me. I said, that's fine. Let's go with your premise that it was all about transgender. I need you to show me one time where either Biden or Harris in four years said anything about running on transgender issues. I could just provide they, me they one didn't, clip. They didn't have to. They right, didn't. That's exactly. They, but they didn't speak against it. People are, I don't think it was one thing. <laughs> it's just not one thing, right? Because there were different subsets of people who voted for Trump, you had his base, his MAGA, racist bunch of folks there, right? Like, then you have your, you know, Latinos who tend to be misogynist and sexist, you know, like you just had the the people, you know, the black men who probably like, fuck the Dems, you know, they're not talking to me right now. They're not listening to me. So you just had this big convergence of people at the right time right, who wanted to just oppose. So I really don't even think that that, you know, like the trans, it probably resonated, but it just gave them like an off ramp to vote for the racist. Like that was kind of what that is. You know what I mean? Like, and then Dems can't, couldn't touch it. Like if you got them on, during a football game running trans ads about like fucking sending your kids to school and whatever, mm -hmm. that will resonate with these idiots because they literally didn't Google shit. Like, and Dems are afraid to touch that kind of thing because they are afraid to like offend. And we've had this conversation. Remember we talked about this, how we felt like the squad was way to the left mm -hmm. and like was moving things way too fast because the, yep. the the steadfast voters, the people right in the middle, they're progressive, but they ain't like that. They don't want it that fast. Like they want, a, you know, give it to me, give it to me slow. <laughs> They'll just throw me over here and be like, you know, all you know, trans can play in the sports, right? Because now they're pissed at Seth Moulton in Massachusetts for making the comment he made about, did you hear him? Mm -mm. So our congressman here in Massachusetts is a Democrat, mm -hmm. but he, he did his own little autopsy and he said the same thing. Like, you know, Democrats have to face certain things <laughs> that they won't Face. And he's like, you know, a lot of people, and this was just one of his examples, they don't want uh, after puberty 
trans, right? And sports. So he's like, I am concerned about my girls playing sports with trans after puberty, right? Like, because there are no kind of rules with that. But, and he's right, right? Like, so every all of a sudden he got canceled <laughs> for saying it, right? Like even the Democrats were like trying to cancel him for saying that. And he's like, you're proving my point. We yeah. have to have a discussion about- well, What do you mean it was canceled though? I mean, in he's what- canceled. Can He's canceled because he said that they got pissed at him. So they didn't want to send any more interns to his office to work. Like they started canceling- well, <laughs> Look, I, I, first of all, I, you're right. I, there, there is no. You shouldn't bow down to a, a, a far fringe group, regardless of what side it's on. Yeah, I, I, I 100 agree with that. But I think also too, what I think irritates me the most is that we're allowing somehow, and this is a combination of just people who are not very bright. This is a combination of a media, whether you're talking far right wing media or you're talking the corporate mainstream media, whatever it is, did not express enough and not educate people enough that, first of all, let's explain what the quote unquote trans issue is. First of all, there is no issue because they really barely exist. And when I say that, I don't mean that they Absolutely. that they're not people, but they are people. They do exist. Right. But it is so minute right. that the chances of your daughter playing in a right. rec league basketball game against somebody that really isn't even old enough well, that's to why have the get discussion, right? Get that 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 there lies the problem. Because if we we're allowing Republicans to create that narrative, well, that's exactly what it's been. That, that's bec that's the problem because we won't touch certain things. I, I don't know. The, again, well, that's what I'm saying though is when they do yeah. that, they need to shut that shit down right off the right. bat and say, "Look, I ain't playing this fucking game with these right. idiots." Do you exactly. think I'm going to sit here all day and tell you that my main issue is girls playing in transgender right. sports? How about this? Mm -hmm. If you're asking me personally, I don't think they should be doing it. But you think? For the American people that I'm going to sit around all day and talk about this being an issue as to why people need to vote on, that's how they need to start fucking approaching shit like this. Instead right. of just laying back and going, mm -hmm. let's just not say anything. Right. Let's just let, you know, and, and that's exactly, that. And that's kind of like how it was. It's like, we're just not going to say anything because people know better. Apparently, people don't know better. Well, again, <laughs> the, the, the people you talk about the um the, the transgender community being so minute, so are the people who are so fucking loud. But for some reason, yeah. we have to bow down to these fucking yeah. idiots, whether it's far right or far left. Yeah. And that's about the kind of shit that I'm over with because now intelligence is you're you're the uncoolest person in the world if you have any sort of intelligence. If you're an intelligent person now or you do some critical thinking or you just look at things logically, you're now a big fucking moron in this oh. country. Oh, yeah. I swear they voted for Trump for a show, right? Like they thought the shit was funny. I, I, I also think that all the people that the Democrats got registered, <laughs> they voted for Trump. Like a lot yeah. of them voted for Trump because it's like, oh, he's like, we should have known we were in trouble when people are like, nah, I don't know. They're both bad. Like, the, the, no, they're not. But it goes back to what you just said, too. You know, the media just did not show like forget the local news like they just don't show the rallies these people just don't see mm -hmm. any of of what trump does like just zero of it that's why like my main focus right now with these magas is to show him performing fellatio on stage like i just love it i'm just like yeah this is Putin's yeah. bitch. i just put hashtag putin's bitch fuck yep. up, right and, like yeah. they hate me i don't know how many times i've been called the r word <laughs> this is like all day every yeah, day yeah. but like I don't know. They don't see it. I, I mean, uh, TikTok. I watched a young girl with a Trump uh, blanket or something just dancing around. She was Latina, and I'm just like, ah, you did know? you see the Google um, the the Google um, searches the days after the election? Which some of the top hours. searches were. One of them yeah. was, "Can I change my vote?" 
a lot of people started to do their research post-election. And when they did, it turned out they were like, oh, fuck, what did I do? Can yeah. I change my vote? Yeah. And that concerns me is like, so now what? Did the media all of a sudden start saying, guys, you made a mistake. Here's what uh, tariffs mean. Here's what this means. And people finally started to catch on. I don't know. But there's to me, there, there's there's so many issues. I say number one issue right now is that we have unregulated, unqualified podcasters that are talking for three hours a day. Yeah. And these people who listen to these podcasters don't just listen to one. They listen to the top eight of the top 15 podcasters in the country right now. And they are all far right wing nuts. Yeah. And so... Yeah. This is one of the biggest problems with the media. When you talk about mainstream media and you have the right wing media, the right wing media is all on the same page. They don't give a fuck if they don't like each other yeah. or not. They are all on the same page, same message all the time. Yeah. The other ones, they have to be too intelligent. They have to be the smart ones in the room. We got to explain why Biden shouldn't be in this right or why Kamala Harris did this or why the Gaza thing and this and that. And they have to, there's so many different factions and they all have to be fucking right instead of being on the same fucking message. And unfortunately in this day and age, if the media does care, maybe they don't, maybe they love that Trump is in there because they don't necessarily like him, but boy, do they love the ratings. But the problem for them is, I truly believe people are so fucking exhausted by this cable news now. You can already see it. They've tuned out mm -hmm. big time. And I think cable news at this point right now, you just saw the one of the final nails in the coffins of, of uh, corporate media. Un even Fox News, Newsmax are going to be going away. It's all going to be these podcasters, unregulated people who are just going to get into the motions in the fields of people, whether it's true or not. They don't give a fuck as long as they get their way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'll do good midterms. Like, I'm just going on because, again, I think um, when Trump is done as well, I think Trump's followers will be done to I really don't think there would have been anything for us to do to stop those people from voting for that fool. Like I don't know how do you cut through. Oh, I agree with that. That that's just like that's just the biggest issue when you have someone who just says anything. Uh, the moon is black. The moon is black. But like he just, he just says anything, and they just believe anything, and he will repeat that one thing one thousand times. So to try to combat that is the most difficult thing on the fucking planet if you too are not a liar because it's almost like you just have to say whatever the fuck you want to say too and like everyone's just saying whatever the fuck they want to say but what's going to happen is the tide is going to turn again because it, it has like it does seem like we're kind of going back and forth you, you know what i mean it's not like americans will stick with one and then then continue vote Republican, then vote Republican. Then. That's not how this is happening. So I don't think there is a realignment. Like, I just think that people forgot what the fuck happened with the pandemic. They forgot who the fuck <laughs> caused all those deaths. It's like, they just forgot about that stuff and then did not equate that into inflation. 